Hi there! Welcome to the Global Debate and Public Policy Challenge, in short, GDPPC. In this webinar, we're going to talk about citation. This applies to both Task 1 and Task 2. Before we begin, take out some pen and paper. Feel free to pause this video now and then so that you can take down some notes. Ready? Let's go! So, very quickly, here's an overview of what we're going to be talking about in this webinar. We're going to explain what plagiarism is, how your citation will be graded, how to use APA in-text citation, and how to organize your bibliography. And then we'll wrap up. So what is plagiarism? Well, in very simple and direct terms, plagiarism is cheating. Basically, if you use somebody else's words or ideas and pretend that they are your words or ideas, that's plagiarism. Whenever you're using ideas, arguments, or statistics from a different source than yourself, you need to refer to the original source by citing it. This is a way of acknowledging other people's hard work and it gives your research more credibility. Let's look at some examples of plagiarism. It is plagiarism if you copy and paste a sentence from a different source into your paper without using quotation marks and without citing that source. It's also plagiarism if you summarize or paraphrase an idea from a different source without citing it. Just because you use different words to say something doesn't mean it's okay to not include a reference to the source. Papers that have been plagiarized will be disqualified. We value academic honesty and the competition has a zero tolerance policy for plagiarism. What does this have to do with citation? Well, citation is really important because if you don't cite properly, you're not only going to lose points, you're going to put yourself at risk of disqualification. So you want to really pay attention to the writing guidelines and to this webinar to make sure that you're on the right track. You're probably familiar with this by now. This table is the grading rubric that our judges are going to use to grade your paper. It can also be found in the writing guidelines, which you should take some time to read very carefully. There are four categories on which you will be graded, but for this webinar, we're going to focus on citation. Here's a close-up look at the citation category. Citation makes up 20 points of your paper, which will be graded out of a total of 100 points. This is an easy 20 points for you if you do it correctly. What do we mean by correctly? Well, you need to use a very specific citation format, known as the APA format. If you read the grading rubric carefully, you'll see that papers that don't use APA citation can only get a maximum of 10 points. That's huge! We're going to do a really quick overview in this webinar on how APA citation looks like, both for in-text citation as well as for the bibliography. You should read the writing guidelines very carefully for more detailed information. Let's look at how you can get higher points for citation. Here are the most important things you need to do in order to get between 16 and 20 points. First, you need an appropriate number of sources. That means you should have enough sources to build a strong case in your paper. That doesn't mean quantity is better than quality though, because your sources need to be reliable. We often rely on Wikipedia to find out more information on something, and it's usually a really good start to discover things, but it's probably not the most reliable source out there. To do really good research, you need to rely on books, journal articles, reports, and news articles. Also, your sources need to be relevant. This means that they should be related to the topic and they should actually reinforce what you're trying to say. So don't use a long list of different sources unless they actually contribute to your paper. Whenever you use something from a different source in the body of your paper, you need to make an in-text citation. There are two ways to go about this. Let's talk about direct quotes first. If you want to quote a sentence or a part of a sentence word for word in your paper, you need to make a direct quote. So imagine you wanted to use this particular sentence in your paper. The APA citation style is actually pretty cool. You need to use quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of the quote. This tells the reader that this is a direct quote and acknowledges that you're using the words of someone else. 
You also need to cite the source of the quote and put it at the end of your sentence in parentheses. Let's look at how this works. First, you need to indicate the author's last name. Next, you need to indicate the year that the book, article, or study was published. And finally, you need to indicate the page that the quote was taken from. Pretty easy, right? Finally, the period or any other punctuation mark always goes right after the parentheses. Now let's say you want to say the same thing, but using different words. Instead of directly quoting, the APA citation style is actually pretty cool, maybe you want to say, using APA style is pretty awesome. That's called paraphrasing. In this case, you don't need to use any quotation marks, but you should still cite the source. It's really important that you tell the reader that this was not your original idea and that you got it from somewhere else. You see that the format for in-text citation stays the same. Now let's talk about the bibliography. As you probably know, the bibliography comes at the end of your paper and shows a list of the sources you used for writing your paper. All the sources that you use for in-text citation should appear here, but there may be more sources than that. For example, you may have used a lot of sources for background reading. This is an example of a bibliography that has been really well formatted. You'll notice two things. First, it's in alphabetical order. And second, it appears really neat and consistent. And that's how you should approach your bibliography too. Let's review how to cite some of the most common types of sources in the bibliography. First, books. How would you cite this book? Start with the last name of the author, comma, followed by the initial of the first name. Next, tell us the year that the book was published, in parentheses. Next, tell us the title of the books and put that in italics. Indicate where the book was published, colon, followed by the name of the publisher. Next, reports. How should you cite this report? It's actually exactly the same as citing a book, only you need to add the word report in brackets after the title. Now let's look at online articles. This can be a news item, an op-ed, or an essay. Let's take this example. How should you cite this news item by the BBC? Start with the name of the news organization, followed by the year that the article is published in, in parentheses, then tell us the title of the article and put that in italics, followed by the word online in brackets, and the words retrieved from, colon, followed by the link to the article. You need to say on what date you actually accessed the article and put that in brackets. Finally, journal articles. Let's say you want to use this article from an academic journal. How should you cite it? Start with the author's name, and then the year the article is published in. Put in the title of the article, followed by the name of the journal, and put that in italics. This part's a little bit tricky. You need to tell us which volume and which number the journal is, since a lot of issues come out in a year. In this case, it's volume 50, issue number one. And finally, the page numbers of the article within the journal. So let's wrap up quickly on what we've just talked about. Plagiarism is against the rules and papers that have been plagiarized will be disqualified. So follow the citation requirements very carefully. Make sure you use the APA in-text citation format throughout your paper and don't forget your bibliography. That's it for the citation webinar. Remember, you can find all these guidelines and more in the writing guidelines, which you can download from the GDPPC website. Thanks for listening, and good luck!